Reconciliation Week gives us the opportunity to really sit back and, and think about the journey that we've come as a nation, the journey that we've come as a business, to understand some of the things that impact the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people that we might not understand or we, we might not appreciate at first. And learning more will ultimately, I think, allow us to work better together into the future so that you know, we can be a truly united country and we can be a truly united people. And I think that will benefit everyone. So we've had a, a national Indigenous participation framework for a number of years now. So I reviewed it with James Alley, our National Indigenous Affairs Manager, and tried to make it more tailored whereby when we do something, we do it really, really well. Uh, and I think the launch of our National Indigenous Participation Policy, when you read it, when you see it, when you, when you actually understand the fabric of it, it's all driven around trying to make sure that when we do something, we do it well and we make a difference in the communities in which we operate. My role within B6 Watpac is to implement Indigenous engagement strategies um, to ensure that we meet our, our targets set on our projects. Our Reconciliation Action Plan is a framework that sets out actions and deliverables to help us build our cultural capability as well as advance our reconciliation journey. What's involved is obviously those strengthening those relationships, building a culturally aware and responsive workforce and also achieving those Indigenous employment targets and Indigenous spend on your projects. I want to be able to help um, bring MOB into projects that we can um, deliver together, I suppose. We hold Indigenous businesses and job seeker events to provide opportunities and, and get first-hand information directly from our project manager and contract administrators on a project. It's an opportunity for Indigenous businesses uh, and us to build that relationship, but it's also for Indigenous job seekers, it's an opportunity to help support their career pathway in getting either back into construction or working in construction. I think we've had about five industry forums with B6 Watpac now. They are one of our most engaged industry partners. Um, every time there's a project happening in Sydney, they engage with the ARPA and therefore engaging with our members. Um, we have a great relationship. We jumped on board when James first started, when B6 Watpac was starting their journey into Indigenous engagement. Yeah, and we've been a, a partner ever since. The relationship means a lot to, to us, but more importantly to our, to our members. So we're not here to tick a box. We're not here to just make life easy. It's actually about creating meaningful relationships with meaningful opportunities that's going to benefit our Indigenous business members and our communities. My name is Jade North. I'm a proud Birupai man from Taree, New South Wales. Yeah, I think um, people wanting to come through the job seekers or who wanting employment, especially the younger generation, for us, you know, it's, it's great to be able to align ourselves with Bessex Wattpac and to be able to provide, especially with Tim Lyon and James, the, the great work that they put in into all these Indigenous um, businesses because they have helped our business really grow in that area. We are now getting Indigenous businesses opportunities on working on our projects. You know, we've now got a national Indigenous participation policy. We've now got our own internal national Indigenous business directory. It allows us to have Indigenous businesses who have uh, gone through our own pre-qualification registration form, making it easier for our contract administrators, our estimators, to access those businesses at their fingertips. We've now also got um, a national Indigenous staff network. There's nothing better than the people who are actually impacted providing the direct feedback to us so that, so that we can learn and we can be a better organisation and a more inclusive organisation for those important workers across B6 Wattpac. Our, our Reflect Wrap was outstanding and I, I love it and I think that's um, it's demonstrated by the fact that it's printed on a lot of our external materials that we're just so proud of of I think our journey and, and how far we've come and, and to have that 
you know, on the business cards and on umbrellas and on our stationery is, I, I think it's a great thing for our business. The Innovate Wrap gave us an opportunity to, to create another fantastic um, piece of artwork and you know, I, I love it so much it's hanging up in my office so I can't um, talk more highly of it. You know, it does show our journey as a business from a, a small contractor that started in 1980 into what we are at the moment which is you know, doing some of the most fantastic projects across Australia and New Zealand and, and incorporating our Indigenous participation policy in the work that we're doing. My name's Narelle Urquhart and I'm a Wadri woman and I'm from Leet, New South Wales and I'm currently living on Bundjalung country and I work on Kumanberry country. So when I think about reconciliation, I think about a space where we should have already been a long time ago and it's a space of relationships, honour, respect, uh, truth telling, it's a shared journey. When I do these kinds of artworks, the ideas and the voice is kind of manifested. Our boundaries are the border. So I have travelling tracks because it's a journey that we've taken from past, present into the future. I've also incorporated the buildings, but again, it's um, on top of our traditional lands. And I also put into it the Milky Way, which kind of represents things that are eternal. So it's legacy. I've also got lots of fruit trees and seeds. So the seeds of change and then bearing good fruit. And that talks about social responsibility and goodwill that comes from social enterprise. And so I know through this company that they have a vision for employment for First Nations people and advancement. And so I want to incorporate and honour them in that aspect. We want B6 Whiteback to be an employer of choice for Indigenous people. I'm really excited and proud of where B6 Whiteback is today when you consider where we were four years ago. I'm proud as an Aboriginal man, I'm proud as a, as a National Indigenous Affairs Manager. I look forward to seeing where Bessex Whitepack will be in the next four years.